Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Movie Social. We're your host, Ricky and Steph. What up, what up, what up? Today's episode, we're going to be doing a spoiler review of yet another foreign Netflix series called Love and Anarchy. But it's supposed to be a kind of comedy in a way. I mean, we have to see, wait and see before uh, we say if it was funny or not. But before we get into that, if you like what we're doing here on this channel with the reviews for movies, TV shows, video games, and anime, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up, turn on those notifications, and also share the channel with your family and friends. And so, Steph, uh, your reaction to Love and Anarchy? Don't watch this in front of children at all. I mean, it did have that rating up there. True, but I mean, jeez. Um, I mean, so how far along into this did it have to start? Five minutes. <laughs> We should have did a counter. It was literally five minutes. Or it, it, it probably could. I mean, she made breakfast for her children and her husband. And she went to the bathroom and uh, self-pleasured. And that happened quite a lot in the first episode. And I was... And it happened quite a bit, too, in the movie. Huh? It, we I mean, should have actually yeah. kept count. It was a lot. And it, like I said, but it was funny. You know, um, she needed to work on some things. <laughs> but all in all, I enjoyed it. It was pretty funny. It had funny moments. I mean, some things that I did like and didn't like, but we'll, we'll definitely get into it. But yeah, I mean, the first, my first initial thoughts was, wow, this this is a lot. Uh, it, for me, it had some American Pie type vibes when it, you start seeing that in the beginning. And it seemed like, okay, seeing that happen, mm, can't wait to see what's going to happen next. And Agreed, she's yeah. going doing this right away. And it wasn't just so, okay, yeah, I, I'm being teased or we had a nice dinner and all that. Nope. Um... Yep, I'm just gonna go right into the bathroom, put my phone headphones on, and then just Random stand up moments. there. No getting things relaxed. A couple just dive right on in, get it done. Need to grab one off before I go out and do my day. I mean, we're all adults. A lot of adults probably do stuff like that, but not randomly. I mean, it wasn't random for her probably. Probably her dullest thing at that point. Yeah, it got random later on, but. I'll, I'll break down probably why later. Okay. But what was your favorite and least favorite moments or characters? Okay, so um, I like the dynamic with the tech guy because they started like this 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 challenge thing where they would dare each other to do things. Um, I thought that was pretty funny. Um, because her life was boring. <laughs> having him basically with the CEO being out of town, having telling him to be basically the CEO of the day was pretty funny having her telling her to be um, dressed up like what is it, sir? I forgot who it was but like a celebrity and she had to go through her wardrobe and find an outfit and stuff like that like, I, I like that dynamic you know the walking backwards thing that was mm, yeah that was a little too much um, my least favorite would have to be I can't I don't know what his role was in the company I cannot remember it wasn't the CEO I think it was the guy underneath him um, I was talking about one of the uh, top two publishers yeah the way he handled certain situations Especially like the movie situation, mm -hmm. not being able to tell her, is it me or did he? F do you feel like he faked that panic attack? Oh, he definitely faked it. Yeah, I mean because I felt like he faked it to get out of there so she wouldn't see it. Exactly, like that whole dynamic, I didn't like. I didn't agree with, and like he he was a coward to me because he didn't he wouldn't tell but, her. See, he was stuck in that old type of way for most of the movie toward till towards then. Yeah, in that mindset. Just like how a lot of people are still to this day, which mm -hmm. is why we had certain things happen the way we did. Like when uh, the one girl was saying that the other author was sending her private pics. Mm -hmm. And he felt like it was nothing, no big deal, no big thing. Yeah, because he didn't yeah. understand all this. He's still stuck in that old time where, okay, men were able to do stuff like this and it wasn't a problem. Yeah, yeah. But now that times have evolved and people have suddenly grown a true conscious and brain. He didn't yet fully see all that until towards the end. I agree with that, and I definitely see what your take is on that. Um, it's just that, you know, that didn't just sit right with me. I mean, come on now. Yeah, I think that was the point. It wasn't supposed to. Well, that is also true. But yeah, those would have to be my favorite and least favorite thing of the show. Okay. So for me, interesting here, because I uh, got quite a bit that I can pick for a favorite. Okay. I'm going to start off with my least favorite. I didn't like the CEO. To me, he was dirty and grimy to begin with. One, he secretly tried to sell the company mm -hmm. to a 
another company that they were already working with. And he did it so sneakily. He didn't tell nobody until after it was done. And then he didn't even say it. He made her, he made our lead character tell everyone and made it be like she was just running everything. Now, yes, he hired her to try and get them brought up to the modern day and age to help them to stay profitable instead of going under like they were about to do. Mm -hmm. But it was just like, yeah, why are you having this company if you don't want to take the responsibility of it anymore? Okay. It was like he was always dodging the bullet, never there, running around. And then when they had the big meeting to show off, oh, I'm not going to pee in. <laughs> like, what? What kind of CEO? Yeah. Maybe, but maybe I probably do know some CEOs that probably were like that in real life. But my favorite part would probably have to be at the end, the hot tub moment. Mm, okay. Because her husband was the second worst character, in my opinion. He was narcissist. He, not only that, he was a snob. And he just looked down on everybody. Like, he was so great and big and powerful. When I'm like, what do you do, really? I don't. I still never fully understood his I think job. he was like an did. advertiser or something like that. I mean, he, he wasn't no rich, big shot CEO, no his own company, none of that. He worked for somebody else in the way he acted. Especially the scene when they uh, had the scene, which probably would be my favorite scene behind this. When they caught him in the house and he called the uh, tech guy the dishwasher fixer. Oh, person. yeah. And it was just the clock drain, which anybody could have really just chucked on their own to see. Like, stuff like that made me really not like him. And then the, at the end, saying, okay, yeah, we're going to go to London just so she can get away from all of because because he doesn't want to deal with mental health problems of her father. I'm like, who are you to tell her that? Yeah, I agree with that. And I loved how she just started making that sound and act <laughs> that way and just got a, got the robe on, which is gone. Walk, didn't even go back to the hotel room, none of that. Didn't get dressed, walked right to the job with the robe on. I was like, yes, finally. <laughs> but what would your reaction, well, your uh, recommendation be for this? I definitely say watch it. Um, like I said, it definitely had this very funny moment part. When certain things in uh, TV show series, movies that say that it's rated really mature or rated R, you know, some of it is doubt, doubt back, but this definitely is rated mature for reasons. Um, the sex scenes and all. Yes, yes. So, I mean, like I said, it's not one of those things where you can even have the kids in earshot, to be honest with you. Um, but I do recommend it. It was a pretty funny uh, series. and something that I would recommend. Definitely. Uh, you should check this out. It's... 30 minutes for each episode and uh, about eight episodes for the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Quick and short and simple. I mean, it did a really good job in the way they left it. It could be a season two if they chose to because they really didn't show if she really left him or not completely. I mean, that's the illusion, but we don't know for sure. And we don't know what's going to really happen with the company. Do they survive after the company dropped them from buying them? Which we gotta actually look into. Maybe there's a lawsuit into that later on because uh, they did sign a contract. Mm -hmm. Who knows? It's a lot of things that they can travel out for season two. But let us know in the comments below what are your thoughts and opinions on this series. If you enjoyed it, if you didn't enjoy it, let us know as well. And if you guys think it should be a season two, let us know. Till next time. Mm -hmm.